So in this example, it asks, it says that a talent show features dancers and singers. And then they tell us the ratio of dancers to singers is three to two. And then they tell us that there's 30 total performers in, in the whole group. And it asks us to know how many singers there are. Well, if I stop and think about this for a second, my, um, if I take my number of dancers and I add them to my number of singers in the group, then I will get a total of 30 because there's 30 performers overall. Now, they only give the ratio of dancers to singers. Now, remember, when we write ratios, you know, like three over two or three to two, we'll write it out like they have it three to two. That is in the simplified version. So in other words, it's been reduced by a common factor or a common number. So in other words, it's been reduced by some number. So if uh, it's been, let's say it was reduced by five, then that would be 15 to 10, right? So what we're going to do, and you can sell, you know, well, you know, 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could actually go through and you can put in different multipliers to, to figure out which one equals 30. That would be a longer way to possibly do that, especially if the numbers get very big, if n, if n was very large. But what we can do is we can just use this general form here. 3n, that is the number of dancers multiplied by that common factor that we removed, plus 2n, um, the number of singers multiplied by the common factors that we removed, is equal to 30. So then all I have to do is solve for n. So now I say 3n plus 2n is 5n is equal to 30. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5, and then n is equal to 6. So now I know what n is equal to. Now it asks me, how many singers are there? So I know that it's 3n to 2n. So 3 times 6 and 2 times 6. That's going to be 18 to 12 was my original ratio that reduced down to 3 to 2. So I know that 18 plus 12 is equal to 30. So I would have 12 singers in my group.